The death devil is the embodiment of the fear of death. Death can be seen as maybe the most fundamental fear. All living creatures must experience death. It might be safe to assume that the Death Devil might be one of the strongest devils in the Chainsaw Man universe. The stronger the fear is towards a certain devil or fear, the stronger that the devil would be. So, I mean, I think death is almost at the top of the list. So the Death Devil is a member of the Four Horsemen alongside Famine, Control, and War. The Death Devil was first mentioned in Chapter 84 by Makima. She told Kishibe that she sought out to eradicate her fellow horsemen, and the Death Devil was later mentioned again by Hirofumi Yoshida in Chapter 115. However, there's very little information given about the Death Devil. Yeah, overall, we don't know too much about the Death Devil. We don't know its identity, its abilities really per se, or if it has any contracts. The only thing we do know about the Death Devil is that it is real, it is a member of the Four Horsemen, and that two people in the story, Yoshida and Makima, have confirmed that the Death Devil does exist. What is interesting though is that both of these characters have been mysterious through their time in the story. Makima was the mastermind of part one, and she was wrapped up in basically everything. And Yoshida's becoming more and more of a character of interest. We don't know too much about the Death Devil per se, but what we can do is take a look at what we do know about the characters that do know about the Death Devil. So we might be able to find something out by dissecting these characters. Let's try to figure out what role the Death Devil plays in Chainsaw Man. I think first we should start with Makima and her ties to the Japanese government and the Four Horsemen. She was revealed to be the Control Devil. She embodies a fear of control or conquest slash domination. Her abilities reflect that she's able to control any being who she believes is inferior to her, even being able to force them into making contracts with her or another devil. Yeah, we see her do this with Aki and the Angel Devil in the final final arc of part one, Makima was a former member of Four Horsemen alongside Famine, War, and Duck. To recap this, the four individuals are the only ones who remember the names of the devils who were eaten by Chainsaw Man, such as the Nazis, AIDS, and even nuclear weapons. While alive, she was known to have had a contract with the Japanese Prime Minister. We have seen similar situations with other figures as well. The Gun Devil is known to be contracted with the United States of America and have parts of it owned by other countries and devils. Reze with the Soviet Union and Quanji with China. It has been a running motif in the story, so I think there is a possibility that the Death Devil could have ties to a country's government, maybe even a contract. It's not impossible. What's really interesting about Makima's contract with the Japanese Prime Minister, the Prime Minister in return for her cooperation allowed Makima to basically survive any fatal attack that ever happened to her. Any time that she should have been killed, it was transferred to just a random citizen of Japan. If you really think about this, a contract that basically makes you avoidable to death, it's pretty beneficial for Makima who said she was interested in getting rid of the death devil and the other four horsemen as well. So having a contract helping her to avoid death might have been her ultimate travel card if she was thinking about going against the death devil. In part two of the Chainsaw Man manga, we recently found out about the Famine Devil, but their goals haven't necessarily been revealed yet. We have seen all the horsemen besides death, but since the other horsemen have made an appearance, it feels like the death devil could pop up at any moment. In chapter 115, Yoshida mentions the death devil while talking to Denji. Yeah, and this moment is when the death devil is brought into the second part of the Chainsaw Man manga. And what's more interesting is that Hirofumi Yoshida is a complete enigma in the Chainsaw Man story. There's been hints about him, but we really don't know what is going on with this character. Fujimoto has been dropping hints all around and it has us wondering, what is this man cooking? It has been confirmed that Yoshida is working with an unnamed organization tasked with making sure Denji lives a peaceful life. We don't know its name or its real motives, but what we do know is that since the International Assassin's Arc, Yoshida has been observing Denji. What's really interesting is that he was originally brought into the story by Makima, so we can see that there is a possible correlation between Makima, Yoshida, and maybe even this organization, but we don't know that yet. There's still very much a lot of things up in the air about this organization. In chapter 115, Yoshida casually drops the Death Devil in conversation, asking Denji if he could, and I quote, eat it for us, the Death Devil. This is important because Yoshida specifically uses us, which could connect to the organization he is with. Now, if this is true, then the organization wants to eliminate the Death Devil. But I feel like this contradicts wanting Denji to have a peaceful life. Regardless of that, it established that the Death Devil is a threat to the unknown organization. And what I do want to add on top of this idea of the organization letting Denji live a peaceful life, wouldn't the most peaceful life be the life that there is no death. In theory, would the organization want Denji to actually get rid of the death devil? I know devils are allowed to revive after they're killed. We see that with Makiba, and she becomes Nyauta. But what did Yoshida really mean by this? By, can you eat it for us, the death devil? 
it really leaves us with a lot of questions. While we don't know the identity of the Death Devil or what goals it has, we can infer that it has a possible threat for the unknown organization, and it wouldn't be ridiculous for it to have ties to some country's government. As we mentioned before, Makiman had a contract with the Japanese Prime Minister. That contract itself was very beneficial. If the Death Devil has some very extensive goals themselves, a contract would make sense here. We do know Makima did see the Death Devil as a threat to her and humanity, so there is a possibility that Denji may have to battle against the Death Devil at some point. What if Denji has to battle against the concept of death? Think about this, this would make an amazing arc. A battle between life and death, literally. Possibilities are really endless with this. I don't know how concrete it really is, but we do think that there is potential for the Death Devil to be sort of a final boss. Thinking about how death is the most fundamental fear in living creatures, it would make a lot of sense and it would make for a really compelling ending. But what do you guys think? How do you think the Death Devil relates to the Chainsaw Man universe? Let us know in the comments. Thank you again for stopping by. We appreciate all the support.